Is Nigeria truly on the brink or it is being exaggerated? Body judge speaks. And the main opposition PDP accuses federal government of political discrimination regarding the 774,000 jobs. This is Plus Politics. I am Kayode Ladende. Welcome to Plots Politics. Some days ago, the leaders of the National Consultative Forum, NCF, analyzed the state of the nation and returned a grim verdict that Nigeria is on the edge of collapse and that all hands must be on deck to save the country. And so looking at the issues plaguing the country from insecurity, a brewing economic crisis, abuse and disregard of the rule of law and more, can we say that truly our nation is hanging on a thin thread? Joining us to discuss this is Olambode George, a member of the Board of Trustees of the PDP. Good evening, Chief Body Judge. My pleasure. Yeah, good to have you. Uh, before we go into what uh, the state of the nation, uh, you were quoted recently as speaking very, very hard against the former governor of Ekiti State, who was our guest on this show, where you described him as an ingrate for what the PDP has done and not uh, supporting the governor of, I mean, the governorship candidate of PDP. What exactly do you mean by that? <laughs> you know, I'm much older than him. And uh, that is the responsibility of elders members of the BOT, once an individual has collected the mandate of our party to contest on our platform, whatever issues, observations that we have, we can come in within the party and discuss. But when I listen to him, although he has retracted that, no, we misunderstood what he said. Because what I concluded was, you are telling people to not to vote for him, not to trust him. Are you saying that the managers of the party are in, in collusion against the wishes of the majority of the people? And so when I heard that, I was not very, very happy. And uh, I made my remarks, and uh, he made his reaction, and the, he said, no, he didn't mean what he, that was not what he said. And I said, fine. If that was not what you said, that you wanted, uh, uh, you are going to support Obaseki and you, because we must all have all our hands on deck for the sake of our party, for the sake of this country. That's, how, that's why I reacted. But when I saw the response, I said, fine and dandy, you know. Okay. Um, we are all on the same page. Okay. I, I, maybe I should also put it on record that he was here, mm. and in fairness to him, what he did say is that uh, he's not a fan of Obaseki, neither is he a fan of Oshomole, that he's confident that Obaseki will win. But what he expressed is that Obaseki will decamp from PDP because of what Obaseki had done to him when he was in uh, uh, APC. Don't you think he's entitled to such comment? You know, when you, when you have somebody who is contesting, who is presenting himself on the platform of your party. That is not the time to start talking about issues that have divided you. Look, you, you know, no matter how many uh, clothing a young man has, he will never have as many rags as the old man. An old man will see you and say, ah, that statement may be misconstrued. That statement, the opposition should grab at it and start to spread it. And it's not going to be of help to our party. So you say, hey, stop there. Don't say such things. Let, let us finish first. Once the elections are over and we have won, 
you call me and say, oh boy, you know, have a handshake. Don't do this, don't do that. But not to go to the public and start undressing uh, yourself in the public because you have a, 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 a disagreement with him. And you know what? When, if from where I come from, from my part of the world, if you have your family issues, you don't discuss them in the marketplace, period. Okay, quickly, uh, uh, before we also, let me also get your clarification on this. One of the things you also say, which I think yeah. you are also in the position to make a comment on the way, pardon my language, it lambasted the former president, Olu Shegun Obasanjo. Yeah. And uh, you also have some kind of frosty relationship with the uh, late Kashamu. But do you think that uh, fire she was... <laughs> Uh, uh, he said more than he should have said. So, you know, you see this tongue is about the smallest in our body. It is the most potent. If you misuse it, it can damage a whole world. If you, if you speak with even uh, in a more civilized manner, in a much calmer manner, it can win you a lot of laurels. You know, in Yoruba, we have a saying that what it means is this. Depending on the way you use your tongue, you can conflagrate this nation. And at the same time, using your tongue sensibly, methodically, rationally, you can bring a lot of fireworks and calm them. Now, um, um, what they said, Kashamu, I, I didn't have any grounds about Kashamu. He was my boy. He came to my office severally. In fact, the last meeting we had in, uh, in, in Ibano, he came here, he said, Baba, sir, I would like to come to that meeting. I should tell the governor of Oyo to invite me to come in there. I told the governor of Oyo that, look, Kashamu came here. I said, look, he wants to come to the party meeting, elders meeting. And he said, you know, there has been some kind of a, a, a decision by the national uh, the, the leaders, by the uh, managers of the party, that they had expelled him. So he cannot on his own invite him. So I told Kashamu to come down. That was the last time I saw him. I had nothing against his person. And what Baba expressed was that, look, we should learn, you know, students of history, of all his own journey through the, 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 the political, the journey, political life, that we should learn a lesson that someday, you know, whatever you do today will be recorded on the pages of history. All those people he had quarrels with, they disagreed. And I, I never had any disagreement with him. We differed on our political leanings and his own approach to management, but he has his good side and he has his bad side. And so when you are teaching people in the political science class, you do a lot of analysis. You do, you know, you, you, you take a human being, you take former leaders. There's no human being created that does not have one scene or the other. But then you learn from it so that the younger generation coming would avoid the pitfalls of what he went through. Okay, he, Chief. He's gone now to rest. So we just pray that the Almighty God will forgive him his sin and that he let his memory be a lesson. Okay. Let his so, memory be a lesson and a teaching one as for, for will be politicians who will come in the future. There's nothing, you know, that's, what, that's the way I saw it. Okay. Uh, but for him to uh, to be castigating the person, you know, the, from here, what is the Omodua B culture? Where has that disappeared? In Yoruba land, you don't abuse your elders. You okay. don't abuse your elders. Okay, uh, Chief. Because, like I said to you, no matter how many new clothing you, young man, has, you can never, ever, have as many rags as the old man. Okay. What they are saying, in effect, is that you see this gray hair, that is wisdom. Okay, Chief. You don't learn anything in the Chief, class. Uh, uh, so that we can 
touched uh, so many grounds. I know you have a lot of, uh, to tell us tonight. But let's move about, yeah. move straight to the state of the nation. Uh, I think one yeah. burning issue is uh, the issue of Southern Kaduna. As we speak, the governor of Kaduna State has met with some religious leaders, mm. and it appears we are moving close to solving this problem. But let me allow you for the next two minutes to take us down the line. People said this crisis is almost 40 years old. You remember the, the Zango Katap war and the, the, the role that we had with the Zamani Lekwot and the rest is still alive. And, but some people have said that uh, it's also part of the problem. What, what do you, re yeah. do you have to say? You know, General Lekwot was my senior respectable, responsible, very civilized general. During the war, he played an active role and excelled. Now, the local politics of the Kaduna, Southern Kaduna and the real Kaduna, the real issue is basically on religion. The Southern Kaduna people also want a state created for them. Now, there is some danger that is ravaging this country, religious differences. Religious differences. We got to be very, very careful. You know, here, I was born a Christian. My older, immediate older sister married a Muslim. Today, she's an Elijah. I paid for her and her husband to go to Hajj. I won't disown her because she's a Muslim. Same, my younger brother married a Muslim lady. Today, his wife is a pastor. Now, I remember when I was growing up in Lagos, you know, once it is time for uh, any Muslim celebration, we were all out there enjoying ourselves. And when it was time for Christmas, they would join us too. So I grew up trying to know that human beings are human beings. And, you know, these differences about religious, it is, it is a, a design to control people. Now, the major thing we should ask ourselves, which of them decided that they wanted to come through a family, to be born through a family of Christian or Muslim? Who? Which of them? And the day you are going to go, you have no control. The Almighty decides what he wants you to be, what he wants you to do. For God's sake, why are we killing ourselves? What is this killing for? What is this hatred for? We are all crying about the Almighty God, whether through Allah or through Christianity. Let there be peace. Let them live together. If not, you want to create, they are thinking they should create a, a, a state for them so that they all these friction, unnecessary friction, will be a thing of the past. It's been on. You I remember one time they, they arrested the General Lekwon, and he's still alive. Many, many years ago, the fight is still on. These are the same people from Kaduna State. What is this? These little, little things that we should be able to resolve, if we don't, it will get this country to a position where we will not regret it. Religious wars are the, are the worst wars in the world. Remember, there was a time in England, you had the, uh, the, uh, the Irish, the northern part of Ireland, the southern part of Ireland, and the Great Britain. They are Anglican. The other ones are Catholics. It came to a point in 1923 that the Irish, the southern Irish, you know, then moved down and they created an Irish Republic. Most of those people in the Republic, which is now a whole country, are all Catholics. The Northern ones decided they are going to join up with the British, you know, because they are Anglican. Today, today, with the Brexit created, they, they, speak, they speak the same language, they, they, they wear the same clothing, they behave the same way, and they are now talking about the border. Are we going to create them, remove them, to be part of this or part of that? But thank God, 
after many years of so many killings, President, the American President Clinton got involved and they resolved it. Okay. The IRA is no longer, they are now all together, you know, in their parliaments, everybody making wakes and all that. So religion should never divide us. Okay. Why? Chief, uh, uh, let, so it therefore means that you believe that the solution lies largely on leadership. So uh, what, yeah. how do you assess leadership here in terms of the Cardinal State Governor, in terms of the federal government, and the military is being accused of being one-sided? So how do we get this kind of leadership? You know, and what's you know, your the word? point is this. Leaders must rise above this pettiness. We will never have a Muslim leader in perpetuity. We will never have a Christian leader in perpetuity. Justice is blind. If you go to the law court, you see the lady of justice. She's blinded. You don't know. She listens to A, she listens to B, and dispenses justice. So whatever they are asking for, what does it take you to sit down? Nobody is a slave to anybody. Let them sit down. If they want a state, let them create it. If they want a, a, a separate uh, local government, something to be able to, to have that affinity until we can, they will intermarry, they will interchange, they go to the, to, to the same school, and they will start, the younger generation will learn. All these years, we are still passing down the same division, vicious divisions amongst them. What, what are we What are we doing? What are we, it's the same thing with these tribal uh, divisions in this country. Okay. I had made friends all over this country. My best friend is still a full animal. Okay, and chief. I have no, 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 uh, no regret for it because uh, it's genuine, it's humane, it's civilized, it is compassionate. He, 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 he would do, he can even stand okay. to die on my behalf. Okay, Chief, that is your, uh, uh, your friend. I'm, I'm, so I'm, is I'm really, I really scared. Our time is really running fast. So let's come back to politics, uh, which we know where you, you, you've been for years now. Let's quickly look at your base, Lagos State. And I'm sure yeah. if you ask anybody, they would love to ask this question. Uh, it's been 20 years plus, which when yeah. we return to democracy, and Lagos yeah. has, I mean, PDP has never tasted power in Alausa. In Lagos. Why? Very simply put. You know, initially, the whole Southwest was seen as a power lower area. The AD in 1999 was looked as a party of action group. So it took a hell of a lot of time to break in into the jinx. And I said, we all were Papa, I was the National Vice Chairman Southwest. I traversed the length and breadth of the Southwest, 137 local governments in the whole of Southwest. Minimum time of my visit and campaigning, five times local government, trying to convince the people, trying to educate the people. Two things that has happened in Lagos. Everybody keeps coming. Why haven't you, you been able to win Lagos? We won Lagos the first time that we swept the whole of Southwest. I will, I will honor that fellow by not mentioning his name. He's still in our party. He came here apologize to the people of Lagos that this is a member of our party, that it was him who had to support uh, Tinumbu to be able to, to, to cushion him and remove the loss so that he could get back to power. Now, I am not saying we haven't made some mistakes. The lessons of the past, we are now analyzing because a lot of uh, interlopers, a lot of inter interferences, people believing that they know your house that you know, 
They want to now pinpoint this should be governor. You cannot be this. You cannot be that. Leave us alone to sort ourselves out. They will want to impose people from outside. They, and these people they are trying to impose are perpetually, perpetually working for Polatinumu. Look at all those people who left the party here. Where did they run to? Who claimed to, 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 to want to be working for your party? Oh, they want the ticket. Mm -hmm. Immediately, they couldn't make it. They are heading back to Polatinumu. The strategy and the tactics okay. was changed. Chief, chief, uh, that's uh, all. I mean, it's not, and then said the lastly, lastly, chief, the uh, type of uh, the the the, uh, the the electoral process is archaic. It is substandard. Okay, chief. Since it, you it, it, since you decided is, to dignify the president, the twenty first century, chief. Sorry, I, I, I'm just concerned about unless time. Unless we change it and modernize it. Chief, I'm just, win. I'm just concerned about time. You know, we always have issues with time when we're having our conversation. But because of time, yeah, let's yeah. just manage the remaining three minutes. Uh, three okay. questions because of time. Now, uh, it has degenerated to the extent that I'm sure you're trying to remind us when PDP was in charge of five states out of six states in the Southwest. That's right. As we speak. That's right. Probably PDP is just in charge of all your state, right? Right. Is it getting worse? Oh, no. And where is that area of hope for your party members? I tell you, we are back on the drawing board. Getting back there. No, no, no you look, as a, as a retired general, when you fail to achieve your aim, you come back to your drawing table. Look at the analysis. Why this happened? What did we do wrong? How did we go the wrong route? You look at it. You do a thorough based analysis. And then we have come out. The, the leader now, the governor of Oyo, is now leader of the party in Southwest. He's doing his utmost. He called a meeting asking us to unite like we did before. It is possible. Our people in the Southwest are completely angry because the, the, the dividends of democracy, they cannot feel it. They are hungry. They are angry. The state of helplessness and hopelessness is hitting them straight on their faces. And they are wondering, where are we going? You said we should vote for you. You won the election. Where are these benefits? None. So we are going back to our drawing table. There are still a lot of enemies within who will come pretend to you. You know, in the military, if you have traitors, we know you know what we do to them. Chief. Who will sell your, Chief. your information to the enemies? We know what to do. Chief. But in the civil life. Chief, you Chief, can't do that. I, I, you can do I want to believe that. Eliminate them by removing them from the real issues and sending them back. Because all of them are all working towards that body line to get some pittance at the expense of the Chief party. Chief Judge, but let's, wait. Let's, we let's, let's, let's put, we let's are, put, we have, we have determined. Let's put names to, to this. Let's back. put. Let's put names to these uh, people you're mentioning, uh, because some people who are following politics know who you're referring to. Uh, I, don't, I don't want to mention them. You know, I will you, you mention know, names. This kind of thing. I will mention uh, names. As an elder in the party. Chief, I will mention names, and uh, I'm a bit worried because this seems to be the rhetoric over and over again. We've had we know the, ourselves. We, we've I had the Obanikoro leaving publicly, but, but we were we shocked. Inside, we we'll mentioned them inside our meeting. Okay. It is inappropriate for a man of my age and of status in the party that we built now to go to the say, to the marketplace to start deriding them. We know them. We are going to deal with them within the party. Very soon you will see what we are going. What I'm talking about. Okay. It has always open. You 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 know in, in life you find people who uh, talk from both sides of their mouth. They pretend to you that they are with you. And, you know, I'm a Lagos man. We know what happens everywhere. 
Chief, you know, so my we, worry... We know what we are going to do. My worry a bit is that uh, why you keep, uh, you know, enforcing discipline that you actually explaining. Some believe yes. that uh, you are also part of the problem. Because why uh, will you have your trusted allies, I'm talking about the... Ogunlewe, I'm talking about the Obani Koro, I'm talking about uh, 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 um, uh, the man in Cerule, and I'm trying to remember him, uh, the former chairman of the party. We are talking about these people that have actually come under you to the extent that you also had issue with the governorship candidate. That's talking about Jimmy Agbaje. So who are the remaining soldiers that can bring these people back? I mean, Now, now that can there make are a whole load of people you mentioned certain names. Where did those people come from? Where did they come to join the party? They came and said, oh, we are with your party. They are not my own boys. They are not my, uh, my, 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 my subordinates. Yes, as a leader, they met me in this party. Definitely I'll be their leader. But when you do your things and you you start seeing their behavior. You know, who, who can read anybody's inner mind? You can't. Hmm. But the laws are the laws. I didn't make the rules. I didn't make the laws of the party. You say, I'm part of the problem. What problem? When you now decide, they, they sit down with you. They get the tickets. They, they tell everybody, we are working for your party. And if they cannot achieve what they, 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 they have uh, 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 come to do, they head back to Bola Tinumbu's there. And once they get to Bola Tinumbu's there, do you hear about them again? Do you hear about them? So okay. what kind of name would they give themselves on the pages of history? A rolling stone that has no moist. They have run back there and we wish them the best of luck. What okay. I, but the Agbaje you are talking about, I had a lot of information which people told me. I don't trust him. Don't do this. Don't do that. I said, no. I know his family very well. I know his father. His father was a very stern, very astute old man who was our chief council master in Lagos. So he came. He was much junior to me. I'm not his uh, age group. But then you, you see, well, what are you doing? Well, he got the ticket amongst the others. I didn't force them. People went okay. and everybody, you know, voted and elected him. Now we've learned the lesson. We've learned the lesson okay. that all that glitters is not gold and that it is not, you do not find the, uh, the, 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 in, the innermost of human beings on their faces. Hmm. We are learning. Hmm. And the man who is there, how many of his own trusted people that's Bolatinumbu. Has he returned? You see the rate of throwaways that he has? Can't you see that? Thank you, you very you much, know, In Chief. politics, I wish he was way back in the military because the rules are there. But here people would intentionally, okay. intentionally disobey the rules you have made and you keep telling them. Thank you so much, look, sir. I don't make the rules. The rules are made by the party. This is the constitution. Follow Chief, the constitution. I'm, I'm so and sorry that uh, I've got this signal that our time is up. And they've got good readers to bad rubbish. Okay, good. So we will wait to see what our PDP will bounce back uh, you see, and see. You will soon see. Thank you so you much, Chief. See. It's not that they are completely out. Even Sabaro that left. Okay, that was the when name I wanted the to young remember. Man was, made, well, was murdered. Thank you, Chief. When the young man was murdered. They thought they had taken him out of uh, the case. Wow. Quickly, they took him in into APC. I said, what? You killed some people? And then they moved him away. Chief, Chief now, is now, now this is getting... No time back for, for this is criminality. Chief, so, someday, Chief. So, someday, somebody will ask. Okay, Chief Body George, thank you for your time. I know you are actually ready to, to actually let a lot of can out of the bag. But we will wait to see how the things turn out at the end of the day. Thank you for your time. We will take always, time to... Always my pleasure. With. And you can see that politics, it's, if you play it the way you should play it, you won't have all this... That's true. Look at America today. 
Chief, we, I'm sorry, we, have, we may not be able to take that now. Time, time is fast gone, and we have another okay. segment to talk about. Trust me, we will reach okay. out to you Anytime. again for another I, conversation. I, I appreciate your, your inviting me to your, to your program. Thank you so thank much. You. And to our viewers, thank you for staying with us. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, the 774,000 jobs controversy takes a new turn. We'll be right back. Please don't go anywhere.